Hi guys, so um, welcome back to my channel, Peppermint Crinkles. Um, this is the look that I'm going to do today. Yeah, um, this is the look. And the star of this eyeshadow this. Is from Wet n Wild Sparkle Till Morning. I bought um, this off at eBay um, from a US seller. So, yeah. Um, isn't it pretty? Look at that. It's so pretty bronzy. Ooh, I love this. I'm in love with this. So, I think I'll be doing a back-to-back uh, -back look using this one. I'll just shuffle the look, but for now, it's more. So, anyways, fun. hope that you like that and uh, do keep on watching for this tutorial. Um, yeah, see you later. God bless and bye-bye. Okay, um, so I've already uh, applied my um, uh, primer. This is um, what's Lime Crime Candy Eye Eyeshadow Helper. So it's just only one shade. Sorry, um, my two sisters are watching television today, tonight. So yeah, their favorite series. Anyways, and then after that, I'm going to take this. This is Revlon Beyond Natural Cream to Powder Eyeshadow in Buff. And I'm just going to take this um, kind of peachy nudie color right here. The camera could pick up. And I'll just put that all over my lid. Um, more like a base where the um, eyeshadow can stick on to. And what's left on the uh, okay, and then I'm going to take this uh, Wet and Wild palette. This is Sparkle Till Morning. Okay, so that's that, and. Actually, I think this is limited edition. Uh, I forgot it already. So anyways, I'll just... Um, so this is the palette. Then I'm going to take this peachy champagne color right here. I hope the camera could pick up the shade. This one right here, marked Brabone. So that's that. I'm going to take a my um, eyeshadow brush, which looks like that. I'll just um, kind of, yeah, less focus. Okay, so I'm just going to take that and put that all over my lid, just like that. This is very, very pigmented, guys. So I'll put that all over and leave the one-fourth um, open I mean leave that one-fourth and then on the um, yeah this is really pigmented by that on the tip of the brush just put that at the center right here Just like that. And then I'm going to take another e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take this marked crease right here. This one. And I'm going to put that on the rest of my lid. I hope you could see that all over the lid yeah sorry about the sounds and then on the tip right here on the outer corner connect that okay and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush which is this one right here this is from Sush or Swesh, and 
I'll just blend the crease and blend this off like this. And blend out this color right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take um this guy marked definer right here beside that teal color so this one right here I'm going to take um, my essence crease brush there you go so that's that it's like um, the um, essence of beauty so I'll just put that right here at the outer corner like that right here do that on the other eye just like that wind it a bit And then I'm going to take this um, swish, swoosh brush again, this guy right here, fluffy brush, and then just blend out and put that on the crease. Okay. And then I'm going to take this, um, this is a crease brush from Target and this is what's it called that's marked with crease there you go and then I'm going to take this beautiful marked crease bronzy color like this marked crease and just on the tip of the brush tap of any excess that will be on the crease and blend it out right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take a um this is a big eyeshadow brush from Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to clean up and I'm going out of this palette and I'm going to be using a knife this one this is Ulta au Naturel this is a matte eyeshadow same as the peach sorbet by Revlon if you want to do find it's the same blend that out right here For my liner, I'm using my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. This is Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. Um, in brown. And this is what it looks like. Using um, a liner brush, where is that? This is my Essence Angle Brush, which is, yeah, the, um, I lost the name. But anyways, this is Essence Angle Brush, and this will be on my top lash line.
sorry about the dog. He's been a... Uh... Yeah, sorry about the dog. Okay, and then for my waterline, I'm using my... Um, Tony Molly Perfect Eyes Eyeliner in Tear Beige. And this will be on my waterline. And then I'm going to take my NYX nude, this guy right here. On my pinky, I'll just dab a little bit like that and put that on my inner corner. For my mascara, I'll be curling my lashes. Mascara I'm using is from the Face Shop Voluminizing Mascara in black. And I'll just here a little bit of volume okay and then I'll just comb it with this groomer from Coastal Scents Hope you could see. Okay, and then for my um, so that's that. Now I'll just apply my brightener and the rest of my face, and then I'll just show you the finished look. Hi guys. Um, so this is the um, finished look. I hope that you enjoyed um. Hope you enjoyed it. So I'll just go on with what's on the rest of my face. Um, let's see now. For my, of course, uh, I wash my face with um, tomato soup, and then I toned it with my uh, Garnier Skin Naturals Light. Um, and then I put on for my eye cream. I use my Garnier Light Rollerball and my um, Egyptian Magic. For my moisturizer, I use my Olay Total Effects Moisturizer. Um, for my um, lips, I primed it with my Satsuma Shimmer Lip Balm, which this is what's left. Um, for my, um, let's see now, um, for my primer, I use my SunGuard Aqua Drop uh, Facial Sunscreen from Etude House. For my foundation, I use my e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer in Porcelain. For my brows, my e.l.f. Uh, clear Brow Gel with my, is Wet n um, Wild color icon brow liner in taupe. As you can see, it's still kicking. Um, for my um, lids, I put on uh, this is the Rice Powder Company Concealer Stick in Yellow and my Next. eyeshadow base in white. 
for my character combination 3 concealers, I use my NYX concealer in a jar in orange, Rice Powder Company concealer stick in ivory, and Milani Secret Cover concealer cream. And for my facial concealment and under eye um, concealer, I used this one. This is Revlon Photo Ready concealer stick in light. For my uh, cream highlight, I put on my e.l.f. all over color stick in golden peach. For my cream blush, I used oh, no, my uh, cream blend blush in lady blush. For my uh, cream contour, I'm using my uh, Max Skin Sheen bronzer stick in tan tint. To set my under eye corrector and concealer, I'm using this one. This is the combination of the Elianto Natural Mineral Highlight Powder and the Everyday Mineral Sunlight Color Corrector Formula. For my face, to set my cream face products, I use my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in Creamy Natural. Uh, for my all over bronzer, I'm using my uh, Jane All Free Bronzing Powder in Sun Kissed Bronze. For my brightener, by the way, uh, I'm Elf using this and highlighter in Glow and Light. I think so this is what's left I'm just using that up to set that I use my elf tone correcting powder in warm and um, I used all this for for my contour I'm using my bourgeois um, chocolate in bronzer number 52 so that's that love this stuff been in love with this um, for my blush, I'm using two. I'm using my MAC Perfect Cheek. And then I used my uh, MAC MSF in Porcelain Pink. For my powder highlight, I used my Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Color Icon in Reserve Your Cabana. Um, yeah, Target Pan Project. 2013 so still using that let's see now um for uh, my lips I did use two I hope that um anyways I'm using this MAC um, lipstick in Venice so yeah that's that and for my lip liner I'm using sorry I'm using this Rimmel exaggerate full color lip liner definer in East and snob and then of course I set my face with or my makeup not my face um, my vanilla and company witch hazel beauty tonic and for my perfume I've been using this up this is Javan Musk clone, which is it's about this. So I'm using this up actually. So that is it, guys. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. I hope I didn't miss anything product, any products. So, anyways, God bless and bye bye.